que su equipaje de mano esté guardado especialmente pasajeros viajando en salida de Pichet que ofrece a un amparo. En el momento los sobrecargos pasarán a la cabina a recoger vasos, envolturas y papeles que deseen desechar. Gracias. Look at that. Do you We're want to talk? high gust winds out here in Oaxaca. Because it's Oaxacking my hair. Oaxaca. All right, team. We are here in the land of mountains, mole, and mezcal. Oaxaca, Mexico. Oaxaca. What does it mean? We're going to find out this week. But what we do know is a few things. We've got action pack week. Definitely we could spend this entire time in the cultural heart of Mexico eating mole and drinking mezcal that whole time. That'd be enough. That'd be enough, but that's not how the Cabreras roll. And I know, you know Kelsey it. would not have that if we were just hanging out here, just eating all day long. <laughs> Tempting. But we actually got some incredible hikes, got some incredible festivals, got some incredible markets we're gonna be hitting up. First hike on the list is bright and early tomorrow morning before the sun rises at Giebre de Agua. The something of pools. Basically MTV cribs infinity pools naturally occurring in the mountainside so we're going to get after that we're going to be hitting some more mole some more mezcal checking out the different parts different alleys maybe certain alleys we stay away from <laughs> we're, gonna, <laughs> we're gonna figure that out fast <laughs> and then the last uh i mean we're just get, we're doing these day hikes maybe some runs in the morning mm -hmm. and then we're going to top it off with a visit to monte alban the ruins what does it mean we're going to keep it a secret you got to watch to find out what it is. We'll see you soon. <laughs> More to come. Here we go. Good morning. We are headed on the Giebre de Agua hike this morning. A nice cool 55 degrees. We're ready. It's ghost town right now out here, but it is beautiful on these streets at night or in the morning i guess now huh? all right let's go get our hike on it's gonna be good Agua, hierba, hierba, agua. One of those words are before the other. <laughs> but look at this. Mountains behind us. Killer views. I mean, you can't find this at a normal swimming pool. You can almost see, I'm hoping you can see the petrified waterfalls here. There. They're petrified. That's millions, maybe hundreds of thousands of years of just minerals flowing over and it's sticking. Kind of like ice freezes. What is it called? A stalagmite? Stalagmite? Stalagmite or but with stalactite? No, stalactite. One of those. But this is minerals. Stag, icicle. Like an icicle, but with minerals. Hundreds of thousands of years it rolling like that. And this is how you get it. Like that science hour? <laughs> All right, we're gonna go check out the other pools that are over here.
In this step, we call this tepache. Tepache. So it's not mezcal yet, but it has. It's gonna be ready tomorrow. So this one tastes. This is. This needs a lot more. This needs more. You're trying to be master mezcalillo. Oh yeah. Take us on a Eat it. And you like it because you catch. We're here at the local spot. Where are we at? You give it. You give the tour. Uh, well, I don't actually know the name of this place, but it is for locals. Restaurante locales. And it is one of the, uh, what is it, zapatilla people? Like the more authentic zapatilla, zapatilla. Zapoteca. Zapoteca. See, I'm, this is not my strength. Zapoteca food in Oaxaca. Uh, and it's been here for what, over 30 years, so. 1965. Uh, 50 years. <laughs> Long over time. 50 years. You could be right. Maybe I misremembered the year. I thought year. he said 30, but no, I could have. Long time. Misheard. Um, but yeah, they they do a lot of like wood fire or meats and moles and um. Well, the menu is bigger than like my whole body, so. A big menu. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that you can tell that we got the hook up because we're traveling with a local today, a guy named Jose. And he's hooking us up with not only finding a great spot that only locals show up to, but when you order something off the menu and you basically say a bunch of stuff that isn't on the menu, like secret menu stuff, I think we're in for a treat. So we let him take the wheel. So we're looking forward to crush it. We got pork ribs coming. We have string cheese. We have black mole. We have chile rellenos. We got basically a whole sampler plate of stuff. Then guy we walked all morning because <laughs> we're hungry and we're about to go crush some food. Yes, yes. All right, here's the tour of what we're gonna eat here. Stand by. All right, we got Pork ribs. Pork ribs. Black mole, mole negro, some rice. And that's how you know it's good rice, because it's like white. This is the guacamole, and as they say it, I don't know how you even say it right. Cheese or quesillo. Yep. Quesillo. Uh, continue, please. I don't know. Salchi, which is a little pork. These little guys. Yep, more pork ribs. Mm -hmm. Tasajo, which is um, beef, like thin beef. And then uh, a chile relleno. Tempura. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go crush this food and uh, reviews to come. If you don't hear back from us, well, that's just because we're busy. <laughs> See you all in a bit. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Gracias. <laughs> all right, y'all, we just wrapped up here at Monte Alban. A ton of very interesting things that we learned a remarkable city one of the things that as kelsey and i were going through we realized that even though there was the technology or all the other things they didn't have highly intelligent so the better way to put it is that even though everything was really simple they had all the things you would imagine from like a complex urban society which was amazing everything from underground plumbing to uh, just even having the wherewithal to really develop really interesting architectural buildings and shrines and things of that nature, amazing. One of the things that was really remarkable on this trip was that we saw where their ball court was. And I think we think of a stadium and a public event, but it wasn't public at all. It was actually private in a way that they settled disputes. And one of the interesting things they asked who, you know, did the losers die? And, and they did, but it was more of a guarantee. There are three warriors against three warriors from the disputing tribes. And whoever would die or whoever would lose 
they would sacrifice those three warriors as a guarantee that they would honor their word about whatever dispute they were having. But those warriors in their uh, tradition, the dying in that way was actually the most honorable way to die. So in a lot of ways, they were also winning. Just an incredible, t incredible place to be. And when you're walking through this entire place, really just felt good energy along the way. So that's it. More exploring to do today. You had a good time, yeah? Oh yeah. All right, let's rock and roll. Amigos, we are closing out our trip here in Oaxaca. At no better place than a rooftop terrace, which is super popular here. But we're gonna be we're eating Italian tonight, Oaxaca style. Pizza, wood fired oven. I see to put a shot in there for you. You couldn't resist. And these views. It's been a great trip. We're super stoked. We're gonna crush. Most people be crushing like quesadillas and millet, mamel, whatever the carne, all of these things. On bread instead of on tortilla. We're ending our Oaxaca <laughs> time, so we miss it even more with Italian food. So we got to come back for the menu, for the Oaxacan cuisine. It's been great, Oaxaca. We'll be here before you know it. We'll talk to y'all soon. All right, so scratch that. We aren't living Oaxaca just yet. We know we did our little send off. They actually wished us well, or maybe they mean they miss us. The crying lady or crying man above was giving us this. First of all, look at his whole crew. Nice. Nice. Great send off, very little Italian meal. And then we had. That's what happened. The Italian meal cursed us. Hey. We, got, Italian. we got all this hail, rainstorm coming through the market. But I love it though. Everybody just kicks into gear and they're ready to go. So that actually was the best way to end. Probably one of the, I don't know, storm spirits are like, heck no. Boom. And then watch that teamwork, make the dream work. It's cool, all right, finally, goodbye to Oaxaca. We're leaving, I think, in my opinion, on a nice cold, but good note. Have a nice day. <laughs>